Anybody else at the point where you're looking at all your quarantine food and you're just thinking, everything in here sucks? The coronavirus exposed the college system. Think about it. You're literally gonna be on a computer. Zero way to prove you're not cheating. The internet literally made college obsolete. This is my idea of social distancing. And this is my idea of what to have if you're social distancing. I don't let it. Now, Dr. Fauci was given the green light by Barack Obama to send $3.7 million to the Wuhan lab that accidentally released the virus that you are now living through. That was way before Trump took office. Are you waking up yet? Here's important things you should know about COVID-19. Number one, you don't know one fucking person that's had the shit. Is it even real? Let's be honest. You don't. Okay, get this. Over a million people in the U.S., have been infected with the coronavirus. But you know what the really messed up thing is? All that any of you guys have been able to think about this whole video is how my vanity looks like an iPhone 4S. So when I go out, I wear this bandana as a mask. And um, I was at the grocery store today and I realized... Smizing is never... Struggle is real yeah. out here in Florida. No one's here anymore. Corona killed everybody. Just kidding. Liberal logic. Shake my head to the people on social media posting pictures with their trendy face masks and prints. Who gives a fuck what kind of face mask you're wearing? Let's just get this shit over with. We don't want to wear one anyways. Hello? Hey, John. Hey, I'm in the hospital right now, so I'm not going to be able to come into work today. You're in the hospital, huh? Yeah. Send me a picture. Send you a picture? You're in the hospital, right? Yes. Perfect. Then take a picture of yourself in the hospital and then send it to me. All right. Will do. Stores opening up and quarantine being lifted in some states does not mean it's safe out there. It means we have room for you in our ICU. Have fun out there. So we're at Walmart. And please tell me why face masks are $17.94. True story, the other day I'm driving along my route, doing my job, being an essential worker, delivering the mail. A guy's out front washing his car, relaxing, having a good old time. He says, hey, mailman, you got my stimulus check? Without missing a beat, I say, I got mine. Don't mess with the mailman. So they're calling us essential employees to give it a nice little razzle dazzle. But all in reality, it's because sacrificial was frowned upon by HR. Get out of his way. Oh That's what they want you to do. Go stay in your house. Go lay down and die. Oh That's what they want you to fucking do. You better call a pot. I've been asking your assistant. And we're going to have to get used to, you know, seeing each other like this. This will be the look. So let me lead as mayor and let people know this is how we're going to be seeing each other. If I get one more person thanking me for working at Walmart, I'm going to scream. Because as soon as this whole quarantine and coronavirus thing is over, I know for a fact y'all are going to be disrespectful as hell again. Listen, I don't know who this Karen is that everybody's bagging on, but I've been in lockdown for so long that... I, I'll bang. <laughs> this man just texted me, hey, want to come over later? Sir, we are in a shelter in place order. The freeways are wide open. I don't need to wait till later. If you guys remember the girl that cut her mask, she's about to come in again. <laughs> How you doing? I see you. What happened to the hole? Yeah, uh, I see a mess. What gives you the right to record this? I like to speak to your manager. The manager? Yes. I'm the manager. Well, I want to speak to your supervisor. Supervisor? Yeah. Yeah, let me go get him. Hey, how you doing? I'm the supervisor too. Uh, I'm a lot of recording public, but I see it worked. You, you didn't cut your mask anymore. So that's because we have to wear the things, but this still gives you the right to record this. So you got have, a million likes. 
You have somebody over you. I want that number, the corporate number. Or corporate? Yes. Yeah. Let me go get your corporate number. You're speaking to corporate. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Well, you need. But it worked. You. You. You didn't cut your record. mask. You didn't cut your mask. Here you. This quarantine needs to end, so I can go sit down at a restaurant with my friends. Hey guys. So I have discovered something after living in this pandemic for two months now, I don't need to be staying six feet away from anyone. I just need to be staying six feet away from my debit card. So I heard Texas was reopening this Friday and I have one thing to tell all you Texans. Come here. Come here. Stay the fuck home. Next time someone calls you a sheep for wearing a mask, take it off, spit in their face and say, nah, bitch, I'm alive. So I was in Target just now. And I'm just standing there, right? Standing in line to self-checkout. I have a mask on for those of you who give a fuck. And I hear from behind me, move back more. He has tattoos. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the only way to become immune from anything is through exposure. So at some point, a vaccine is exposure to a virus. I'm not going to walk outside with a face mask on. I'm sorry. You know what's gonna suck is if we've been quarantined for 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 days, and day one when we go outside back into the wild, we catch the virus. I will be fucking pissed. Do you guys ever forget we're like in a pandemic? Like sometimes I'll wake up in the morning, make myself a cup of coffee, and I'll be like, the world is completely fine. And then I'll go to the grocery store and I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> Next time I go into a store with scrubs on, and somebody looks at me like I'm disgusting, I'm literally going to go over there and hug the shit out of them. Alrighty, just gonna buy a few things. I'm gonna need cereal, milk, eggs. Oh, gotta wear this mask, getting used to it. Kinda hard to breathe, but keep people from getting sick. Wait, what the f What did you order? Okay, Texas, what's going on? We are reopening. Why? People need to work. No, they don't. They just need money for food and bills. Right. And they can get it by working. Or armed robbery. No, they can get it from you fixing your unemployment system. Why are we ignoring the armed robbery thing? We're doing the best that we can, but there's just too much. This is the best way. Do you guys not know how easy it is or... Well, I can't stop you, Texas. Oh yes, you can. I'm not going to use a gun. No, I meant you can stop us, but it's an election year and you're scared to. <laughs> That's so not why. <clears throat> Texas, uh, please tell me you at least have a plan. I most certainly do, and it's not just me. I'm not Harvard to the South. What'd you expect? Honestly, we expect you to stop saying that. Yeah, you're the only one that says that. It's not gonna catch. Whatever. As patriotic as the next guy, but I read today they're gonna have the Blue Angels and the other Air Force flying wizards fly over many cities for the healthcare workers to show their support. It costs $450,000 per flight over a city. So if there's two of them, that's 900 grand. You wanna help healthcare workers? These are the goddamn N95 masks that we have to deal with. These are painter's masks. Get us equipment, get us PPEs, get us N95 masks that are worth anything. Get us tests for everybody, okay? Don't fly over something so we can see some crap for $450,000 to make the president look good.